Number 15, the blonde from the store. No one likes a stalker, and after watching this video, you'll be sure to shut your shades and lock your doors. The cameraman in the video is seen peeping outside a young woman's house, a stranger he says he followed home from a grocery store. He creeps near her windows, while narrating possibly through a voice modification device, as the sound is a bit warped. The creep doesn't stay outside, but manages to get in through the back door. While inside, you catch a glimpse of the intruder in a mirror. He has a mask on. As the footage rolls, the doorbell rings, and the woman is spotted answering the door. Outside, a small fire has been set, and distracted by this, the woman doesn't see the creeper coming. According to the urban legend, the YouTuber who uploaded the video, named Mr. Peeper, claimed that this was found footage, which he discovered on SD cards atop a car abandoned in the forest. The cards were wrapped in plastic, as if to preserve them. His channel has additional creepy videos, in which the stalker similarly creeps around other women. This entry is one we can all hope is some person's sick idea of an urban legend, and not truly found footage. Number 14. Petscope this urban legend follows a man named Paul in a YouTube series of Let's Play videos. In Petscope, Paul finds a PlayStation game that he claims is unfinished, without any explanation as to where and how he found it. He decides to navigate the game, which is set in the Gift Plane, a place where you search around and collect pets. However, this search soon becomes a nightmare after Paul digs deeper into a hidden layer of the game, a layer that suggests that the game is haunted. While the series is undoubtedly an urban legend, it's worth a watch and certainly creepy. Let's play and become haunted together. Number 13. Mr. One Way According to a YouTube urban legend, Disneyland Space Mountain is haunted, but not by anything sinister, by a friendly ghost called Mr. One Way. He appears to riders as an alive person just like them, an adult male with reddish hair waiting in line, conversing with those around him. Other times he appears as a child who, through his interactions with other visitors to the park, is believed to be not from our time. While none of this sounds too creepy, the next part is positively chilling. The spirit doesn't just wait in line, he rides alongside a single rider guest, and by the time the ride is over, he vanishes into thin air. All I have to say is Space Mountain is scary enough without the addition of paranormal urban legends. Number 12. Chupacabra Well, the Chupacabra is an urban legend as old as time. This video, posted by NickNot76 on YouTube, perpetrates the myth and makes one question whether it's really a legend at all. Published in August of 2008, this YouTuber writes, Chupacabra running down road caught on police camera. It's been on a few news channels as well. The video shows a dog-like creature racing along a dirt road in the desert, but when the creature turns its head, its features are exaggerated, with an especially long snout. Some descriptions say the chupacabra is the size of a small bear, and with a row of spines from the base of the tail to the neck. Not sure if this creature in the video matches that description, but it sure got the people of Dewitt County talking. What do you think it is? Number 11. Morse Code This urban legend involves Morse Code Reddit and a YouTube channel. In his Reddit post, Harry Bojangles420 claimed that someone had taken over his YouTube account and was using Morse Code to try and communicate with him. In his own words, this evening, I tried to log into my account, which I used to upload gaming videos to, and I couldn't. After an age of attempting password resets, my email was taken too. He said that later, his friend was looking at his channel and had noticed some of his videos had been removed. Then a video was uploaded, entitled One. 
What appears in the first video is nothing but a text with a backtrack and then some Morse code. Not long after, a second video was uploaded with visual Morse code, which when translated said simply, hello. The Reddit thread continues with 13 edits, in which Redditors and YouTubers are taken along on a crazy ride. The Morse code and accompanying audio and photos become increasingly ominous, with some disturbing pics of a man with a bag over his head, and text reading, you killed him. By the end of the exchange over YouTube and Reddit, it was determined that whoever had hijacked Harry's YouTube was from the afterlife and in search of his wife. Somehow, through translating the Morse code, the Reddit community helped Harry find her for him. One might have thought something sinister was going to happen to Harry. Instead, it was just an urban legend from beyond the grave. Number 10. The Catman of Greenock If you thought the Loch Ness Monster was Scotland's only urban legend, think again. According to local legend, there's an even creepier monster lurking in the town of Greenock, Scotland. It's called the Catman. The Catman is a man-sized, rat-eating, cat-like creature said to reside in the fishing town of Greenock. By the late 2000s, no one had captured any photographic evidence of the Catman. That is, until someone with a cell phone alleged to catch the creature on video. The pixelated YouTube video revealed that the so-called Catman was human, not cat, but that he did eat rats, at least in this video clip. And you can imagine, after the video was released, the Catman became the talk of the town. People claimed he hardly ever spoke and was always seen crawling and eating rats. Even the Greenock Social Work Department got involved, sending out a caseworker to search for this man. Theories arose that the man had been a Russian sailor who had been living on the streets of Greenock, while others thought he was an escaped mental patient. Still others suggested that the man had both his legs broken by the mob, which made him go into hiding. When a local documentarian YouTuber went out to investigate the matter in 2010, Hardly anyone would speak to him about the Catman on camera. The identity of the man remains unknown, but at least one account online claims he was institutionalized at one point, but being locked up like that didn't work for him. Some question whether the Catman is an urban legend or not. If he is, then an entire town is sure doing its duty to keep his story alive. Number 9 the specter of Hurricane Matthew. Have you ever seen something unsettling in an image of a storm? That's what this urban legend purports in the form of a satellite image of Hurricane Matthew. A YouTube video posted in October of 2016 by UFO Mania alleges that a demonic skull-like visage can be found smirking in the satellite cliffs of Hurricane Matthew. Several YouTubers agree that the soul of the storm appears in the clouds. Others claim that these photos were taken over the so-called Voodoo Islands. What do you think? Do you see anything in this storm? And if so, is it real or simply an urban legend? Number 8. Tiny Town this urban legend is explored in a short documentary called Tiny Town, published on YouTube. In the video, residents, historians, and local officials are interviewed about the tiny community in the forested area of Ridley Park, where a group of people with dwarfism are said to live. Peg DeGrasa of Delco News Network, who herself explored the legend, is interviewed in the documentary. DeGrasa's take on Tiny Town was bent on highlighting the politically incorrect nature of the so-called legendary town's title. She wrote in her 2014 article, From all the way back when I was in high school, cars full of kids would go searching for the elusive tiny town. As a teen, the search was kind of scary, in an adrenaline-thrilling way too, because there were always rumors circulating 
that the little people throw rocks at any outsiders who come on the street. While she notes the town of small people was most certainly an urban legend, she said generation after generation always reasoned that it must be real. Watch the YouTube video and decide for yourself. Number 7. Crop C when an urban legend comes to life, it brings with it a whole new level of scary. That's what happened in the case of Cropsy, the boogeyman of Staten Island. This New York City urban legend follows in the footsteps of the creepy and purportedly haunted Seaview Hospital, a former sanitarium. The perfect place for a horror story. According to the legend, an escaped mental patient stalked the island and grabbed children with his hooked hand, dragging his prey to the grounds of the sanitarium. Of course, the story of this incredibly terrifying boogeyman was told primarily by parents to scare the good into their kids and or by older siblings just to frighten their younger, more gullible counterparts. That is, until Cropsy became real in the form of Andre Rand. Rand was actively doing this in the 1970s when he stalked the children of Staten Island. He was the Willowbrook State School Janitor, a school which served mentally disabled children. It wasn't until Geraldo Riviera did an expose on the conditions at the institution that the place's truly awful nature was made known. Thanks in part to this expose, the Willowbrook State School was shut down in 1987. That was the year in which police arrested Rand for abducting and taking the life of Jennifer Swiger a 12-year-old girl with Down syndrome. At the time, Rand was homeless and squatting on the abandoned school grounds, which was near Seaview Hospital. This wasn't Rand's first offense. He was arrested for numerous similar disappearances. In those disappearances, however, the bodies were never found. Due to there not being enough physical evidence, Rand was only charged in the case of Jennifer and sentenced to 25 years. However, though he was eligible for parole in 2008, a 2004 discovery of new evidence in another case put him behind bars for 25 more. There's an entire YouTube channel dedicated to this urban legend and all the related footage accompanying it. After hearing what a real life Cropsy is like, I say here's to urban legends staying legends. Number 6. The Black Eyed Children In this online story, the author tells of his encounter with two of the urban legend, The Black Eyed Children. His tale begins near an old movie theater, where he'd gone to pay a bill to his internet service provider. The theater was showing Mortal Kombat, and as he wrote out his check to pay the bill, Someone knocked on his driver's side window. That someone turned out to be two children. The boys were between 10 to 14 years old, and one of them told the man that they'd forgotten their money at home and were wondering if he could bring them there. His grin and tone were chilling. The boy repeatedly tried to convince the man to open the door, but that's when he noticed their eyes. They were black orbs, no pupil or iris, both boys seemed to notice that he had noticed, as the quiet one appeared horrified that they'd been found out. The spokesman became more aggressive, which is when the man reversed and shot off. When he looked in the rearview mirror, the parking lot was deserted. The boys were gone. This isn't their only sighting either, apparently. A YouTuber named Bruce Edwards believed he saw them on the news and recorded the footage for proof. There certainly does appear to be something or someone in the distance, giving the movie theater story more credibility. Number 5. Carl Mayer According to some, specifically to those who believe in urban legends, if you listen to the YouTube video titled Carl Mayer, you might just damage your brain. The song starts with TV static and evolves into screaming, shrill giggling and crying, mixed with a voice that would frighten even the bravest of the lot. Allegedly, this haunting combination of music and voice develops into sound pollution, 
that can impact the brain, making the listener dizzy, paranoid, and potentially giving him or her a migraine. The song is said to be used during interrogations as well. Although the pictures aren't too frightening, the strangeness and distortion certainly adds to the mystery of this urban legend. What happens when you listen to the video 10 or more times? According to the legend, you go completely crazy and never recover. If you listen to it once or twice and want to recover, you must avoid watching horror movies for several weeks and listen instead to calming, mellow music. Give it a listen. But don't you dare listen to it 10 times unless you want to tempt your fate. Number 4 the bitter root footage the urban legend of the bitter root footage was allegedly uploaded by a university student named chad who just moved into a new apartment and was looking to buy some furniture on craigslist he came across a seller who was eager to get rid of some junk chad who was also eager bought as many of the pieces as he could including a table and loads of randoms one of these randoms was an old wooden box that was locked. He pried it open with a screwdriver where he found a bunch of old pictures on the backs of which the word bitterroot was written. The pictures revealed creepy hooded figures. One even showed a body lying motionless on the ground. Also inside was a tin can with a reel of 8mm film. It was damaged, so Chad set the film reel aside. Still, he couldn't stop thinking about the bitter root photos, so he decided to try and figure out how to watch the film. His film student friend Dario helped him to find the right projector, and using a special tape, they were able to stitch the film together well enough to watch it. What he found was disturbing, Chad wrote. Watch the video and you'll be disturbed too. This one stays with you. Number 3 one man hide and seek well there are many rituals for contacting the past on one man hide and seek or one man tag is one of the creepiest of these types of urban legends according to the legend wandering spirits are constantly seeking bodies to possess here on earth in this ritual you offer the spirit a doll in the place of a human thereby summoning the spirit near you the ritual calls for a number of items, and there are several steps to prepare for it. First of all, you must remove the stuffing from a doll and fill it with rice, which attracts spirits and represents the innards. Secondly, you must put a few of your own nail clippings inside the doll and sew it up with red thread, which keeps the spirit inside. Next, you must fill a tub with water, and then find a hiding place where you place a cup of salt water near you on the ground. Now that the prep work is over, the ritual starts. First, you must name your doll. Say you name it Jill. Then at 3 a.m., you must say three times. Jill is the first it. Then place Jill the doll in the tub of water and turn off all the lights. Go to your hiding place and turn the TV on. At some points throughout the ritual, supposedly you might sense something wandering around through the vessel of the TV. After counting to 10, you return to the bathroom and with an edge tool say, I have found you, Jill, and stab the doll. Then say, you are the next it, Jill. Remove the doll from the water, set it on the bathroom counter, and race to your hiding place. The last bit might be the most difficult because you have to hold half of the cup of salt water in your mouth without drinking it while you start looking for Jill the doll. According to the legend, she might not be in the bathroom any longer. The whole time you cannot spit out the salt water, which if you have ever held salt water in your mouth, you know can be very unpleasant, if not gag inducing. Once you find the doll, you pour the remainder of the salt water over her and then spit the water you're holding in your mouth on her too. Then repeat three times, I win. After completing the ritual, you dry, burn, and get rid of Jill the doll. And at no point in the ritual should you stop or bad things will happen to you. 
does one man hide and seek work? There are countless videos of YouTubers attempting it, and some have had more success than others. The most convincing being this video of a Japanese YouTuber's TV and the effects this urban legend had on it. Number 2. Gateway of the Mind According to this urban legend, a team of scientists in 1983 went on a journey of undisclosed experimentation in a secret facility. Our senses, they believed, were intrusions into our communication with God, and absent of these senses, we might be in direct contact with Him through our minds. To this end, an elderly volunteer who said he had nothing left to live for underwent an operation in which his sensory nerves were cut off from communication with the brain. Without these nerves, the volunteer could not feel, smell, taste, hear, or see, though he still had full muscular function. He could no longer sense the outside world, with only his thoughts to entertain him. Within four days, the man managed to communicate through slurred statements that he could hear voices in his head, which scientists thought were an onset of psychosis. Not long after, he was communicating with his passed away wife, and later some of the scientists passed away relatives, who he named and about whom he knew intimate details. This led many of the scientists to abandon the study unnerved. Communication with the passed on soon became overwhelming, as hundreds or more spoke with him at once. He began throwing himself against the wall but could feel no pain. He was put to sleep with sedatives, but awoke from night terrors, in which the passed on continued to visit. Soon he became hysterical, and the voices grew aggressive and deafening. No heaven, no forgiveness, he screamed for five straight hours. Although he asked the scientists to take his life, they kept him alive through this. There's alleged footage of this experiment on YouTube. It certainly is disturbing considering the urban legend associated with it. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Smiling Man There's an entire channel of a man sitting on the floor, smiling and staring at the viewer for 4 hours at a time. The channel has 291 videos so far, of the same man sitting cross-legged in the corner of a room, his shadow reflected on both sides of the wall. Always smiling, always staring, the only thing that changes is his outfit. Benjamin Bennett started the channel on July 28th of 2014, when he livestreamed the shot silently for hours, and new videos have been posted regularly, with the most recent one being a month ago. Why? Some theorize that Benjamin is possessed. In one video, his eyes flick up in a way that's very unsettling. Others think he's been kidnapped and is making these videos by threat to his life. This theory is reinforced by the fact that he starts crying, seemingly in fear, in one of the videos. However, YouTuber Shane Dawson discovered that Benjamin is a performance artist. So, all these theories are merely urban legends. The performance does seem to be real time. The videos don't appear to be cut, nor does there appear to be a time delay. Benjamin sometimes shifts, sometimes blinks. You might think he's insane. He's seriously sitting there for four hours, but there's people watching him do it. So who's the real crazy person here? Thanks for checking out this video. 
Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!